I'm Alexandre Gabriel. We opened the gallery Quartes Vilaça in 2001. Before that, there was Galeria Camargo Vilaça. And Camargo Vilaça was opened by Marc Antonio and Carla Camargo in 92. So altogether, the gallery is there for, for 15 years. We work mostly with Brazilian artists, with uh, Vic Muniz, Beatriz Milhazes, Adriana Varejão, Ernesto Neto, Luiz Erbini, this artist here, and some other young artists like Erika Versucci, Thiago Carneiro da Cunha. We also have international artists like Franz Ackermann. This work is, is the Totem, is by Paulo Ninfligio, who is a young artist from, from Sao Paulo. Ninfligios always, always work using uh, industrial pieces uh, like sound equipment or computer or, or different kinds of machines. And he's always putting that together in a non-industrial way, in an in a artisanal way. In this case, he made like a totem, constructing like a void, like a, a hollow uh, sculpture. And in the middle, you can see just the raw material he uses, connecting that together. There you see a work by Vic Muniz. It's from a series called Pictures of Junk. Uh, this series is done in Rio de Janeiro in a warehouse. And it's all made with uh, real objects. He projects an image on the ground, and he projects like a huge image on the ground, like this 20 by 25 meters. And he goes up on a lift, an industrial lift. So he goes up so he can take the picture from above. And he gathers like all materials that one can, can call junk, like a fridge, a sofa, or computer pieces. Well, Brazil is a huge country and it's, it's, it's kind of tricky to make uh, these uh, approximations between art and the reality because the reality is also always very complex. But I think um, the tactile aspect is really important in, in Brazilian art when you... It's, there are a lot of artists that have this hands-on approach to their, to their work. And I think that reflects in, in the, in, as a whole in Brazilian art. You can see a lot of the creativity directly applied to, to materials that are at hand to, to the artists.